We're now approaching the trickiest part of the project so far, the creation of the logic that determines the rate and subdivisions to be used with the metronome timing mechanism. The first thing that I'll do is I'll create a new patch so that we can save this as an abstraction and we'll call it rate logic. This abstraction consists of two key components, a conversion of beats per minute to milliseconds because that's what the metro will need is milliseconds, and then an implementation of subdivisions as selected by the user. So first, let's work on the conversion of beats per minute to milliseconds. This is pretty straightforward. We'll create an inlet that will take in beats per minute, so these are whole numbers, and then we'll patch an equation that is 60,000 divided by the beats per minute. Why 60,000? The metro needs milliseconds, and there are 60,000 milliseconds in a minute. We'll take this result, and we will store it within a central float object, and we'll also bang the output of that float object. And this is because if the user changes the beats per minute, we want to make sure that that is acknowledged and the equation fires again. And the equation that we're talking about here is the equation to really determine the rate of the metro, which is going to be the milliseconds divided by the subdivisions. So for the subdivisions, I'll create an inlet that takes in subdivisions. And these are whole numbers. And I'll offset this number by one because likely I will be sent an index, a zero based index, and I don't want to end up dividing by zero. Instead, I'll offset by one so that the range will be one through eight instead of zero through seven. We'll take this offset number and we'll send it first to an outlet and that outlet will go to the modulo in the main patch. And then we'll send it to a division object and we'll also bang the stored float into that division so that if the user changes the subdivisions, we bang this central equation again and it updates the metronome. Finally, I'll take the result number and I'll send it to an outlet that will go into the metro and this is the rate in milliseconds divided by the subdivisions. We'll head back to the main patch and I'll create the new abstraction. I'll feed receive objects called BPM and subdivisions into the left and right inlet of the rate logic object. And then I'll connect the outlets of rate logic to the metro and the modulo. Now to test this within PD, I'll simply create some objects that have outputs to ascend version of BPM and subdivisions. So first that will be just a number atom that goes to ascend BPM and then an H radio that goes to a number atom and then send subdivisions. Finally, I need to create a way to control the toggling on and off of the metronome timing mechanism. So I'll create a toggle that goes to a send on off message. And then at the top of the patch, I'll receive the on off and I'll send it to a trigger. Now, the reason I'm sending it to a trigger is because not only do I want it to toggle the timing mechanism on and off, I also want it to reset the counter. And the reason I want it to reset the counter is so that every time the user turns on the metronome, it always starts with the high click. So the way that I accomplish this reset is I create a select zero. So that way, when a zero comes through the box, it will bang a message of zero into the rightmost inlet of the float object. So essentially it is storing that zero. And by storing that zero, it just starts counting up from zero again. I'll go ahead and test it. And you can hear the main beat at the BPM rate, and then the subdivisions are even subdivisions of that particular beat. With the pure data portion of the metronome app now complete, it's time to move on to the user interface.